adoption versus adaptions in research. What does these two terms mean? And at what time should we apply? And what does it imply in the called research? While responding to the question that was asked by one of our friends on the last class, we tried to explain more about the concept of adoption and adaption and the, the way they are applied in research. While you are reading a particular article or a paper, published paper or a book or whatever kind of the information, you can find these two terms that the, the research adopted or the research adapted. Then you come up, sometimes you do not understand what does it really mean in the world of research. It's true that these two terms can be used interchangeably depending on the disciplines and the context on which they are applied. The two terms may be used, may be wrongly used, it's non -imaginary. And some people tend to use them interchangeably. The ways these two terms are used, whether as non zero or interchangeably, may be influenced by some syntactical and the grammatical aspects of which might be beyond our, our discussion. We cannot go into such details as we are not in linguistics in particular. However, in our today's presentation, where we are dealing with the concept and techniques in research, we are going to describe these two terms with references to research. Because we know these are the common terms, especially on what we call research methodology on the use of a particular method, the use of particular research approach or research design. You will find a lot of researchers while it's obeying you, they are written. The data or data method correction, the strategies and the method or the designs was adopted from somebody or it was adopted from somebody. Therefore, sometimes you can be in a position that you do not understand. You cannot differentiate them. And what does a message is carried between the so-called adoption and the, in the statement with the term adoption. There is, this is a simple short video that is trying to make emphasis of what we discussed the last class. And I have decided to upload this so that it will be easy for you, my dear friends. Therefore, let us focus on the, the use of these two terms, as I said, in so-called research methodology. The two terms are, are, are used to describe the usage and the manipulation of some particular research design, research approach, research method, experimental setups, and some procedures that are to be conducted or have been conducted while performing a particular research work. We all know that when somebody is planning to do a particular research, you need to go through a variety of researchers so that you can realize the method that we are using for data correction, the research design that was used by other researchers related to your area, the data analysis styles, and sometimes you can go further for the presentation of the data and the modality on how the data we are discussed on the process of writing, for writing. And therefore, it's from that context, con context then we can have a point from which we can differentiate the two terms. Is how are these two terms are used? And when do we use adoption? And at what condition do we use the term adoption? All right. Now, the term adoption, starting with this adoption, and then we show that I show you properly. The term adoption in research now is used 
when a researcher applies the same research design, the same research approach, the same research method, or the same experimental setups and procedures as it was used by other researchers. But once you have gone through different researchers, looking on the methods that were used by others, looking on the approach, looking on the experimental setup, and then you decide to use the, those methods as it was from the other literature that you have gone through and accepted that this method will be also applied in my study. You copy, you will say you copy that particular method and paste it into your way. If he you if the, the, the researcher that you have gone through, he used maybe a so-called survey design and uh, the so-called maybe using this Google-based questionnaire. And then you decide to use the same method, the same strategies, the same approach, the same experimental setup, the same research design without making any modifications on such method is where the term adoptions apply. Sometimes when we are Go, we are passing through literatures. You can find maybe a particular paper has been reported on its findings with the statement that maybe the current stud adopted Malunguja at 2020. What does this the message tell us? Means the stud has taken the same ways, the same approach, or the same experimental setup or the same method as how Marunguja did in his study. We took the same procedures without making any change in that particular method. We adopted the styles, the questioning modalities, the research design, if it just we use maybe quantitative, or qualitative, or a mixed styles, that is, we adopted that particular method. That's the term adoption is applied in research. While the term adoption is the opposite, the vice versa of the above, the term adoption in research is applied or is used when a researcher makes some technical changes or modifications to the pre-existing research design, research approach, method, experimental, or procedures, so that he makes some ways toward fitting into his or her study. But you have gone through the literatures, and you have recognized that these methods are good for me for data to correct the data. However, depending on the nature of my population, depending on the nature of the sampling site, the sampling intensity, the sampling frames, and all other parameters that might have with some sort of influence, you may make some modifications to the pre-existing method such that it fits to your study area. If you had decided to make some modifications to the pre-existing method so that it fits your areas of interest. That is the term adaption come into practical. If you find a phrase like the study adapted procedures narrated by Maruguja et al. 2020, from this a particular sentence, from sent phrase number two, and then this is phrase number one, if you are not aware of the use of the term adoption and adoption, you can be confusing yourselves. They might be displaying the same meaning, but with the same implication. First number one is indicating that the method were adopted, it was taken as it was 
while on the phrase number two, the method was adopted, was adapted. It means it was taken as it is, but with some modifications so that it would fit into his study. For instance, suppose I was scaling a particular study in the forest, and the former researcher from which I have gone through, he used maybe a, a plot which was a square in shape. He used a plot with a square in shape for data correction. To me, I found this was good. This is the, 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 the settings of this uh, transects and setting of the plots was proper, but I cannot do the way as it was. Maybe it was 50 meters long, 50 meters by 50 meters. I can make some modification maybe to 75 meters instead of 50 meters. Such sort of modifications to a method that has been carried by a particular researcher. That is where I can use the term adaption. With this few remark, I am sure these two terms, they will provide no problems with the next stages. When you are be passing through literatures, reading literatures, information, the papers, articles, reviews, when you come in close with these two terms, you will be in the position of differentiating them with a clear knowledge. I would like to say again, thank you for this academic food. I have tried to in-depth the discussion that we did on the class of the last session. I would like to ask you to join with us on the next class. And because I am sometimes forced to approach an extra knowledge on a particular concept that was not clearly well discussed in the class. It might be provided some challenges among us. Please, I also ask you to subscribe my you my YouTube account. And you share the knowledge because we say knowledge is power and sharing is caring. And if you are getting problems to come on contact with this video that I do approach, it's better you go into the normal YouTube. You simply type research techniques by Marumbuya, from which you find the statement for the subscribe, please do it, subscribe it, and then after which you share. You, you can make you leave your comments, and that is, will be fine for our academic growth and development. With these few remarks, I would like again to say thank you for your time.